So today is February 7th, and we're going to try to germinate some hardy hibiscus seeds that I collected just yesterday off of my hibiscus outside when I was kind of cleaning up the yard. We've had some really nice weather here, um, so I figured I would get out and get some stuff done. The hardy hibiscus grows a big flower. I, most people know what it looks like, and then it puts off of a seed pod. So what I did was I've taken my seeds out of my seed pods, and I have them here in this bucket. Um, I should have saved a seed pod for you to look at, but didn't think about that part. So here we have a whole bunch of seeds, and what I'm doing is I just think, I don't know if they're going to work because I waited too late to collect them. I didn't collect them in the fall, but they've been exposed to some cold weather. It hasn't been too cold here, so I'm hoping maybe this will work. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm just going to take a little bit of the coating off of the outside of the seed with the rough side of tower. my emery board. i make a tower. Good job. Um and just run it down there a little bit, knock some of the seed coating off, just to let the water get inside of the seed to help it germinate a little better. Um, and I'm starting them in paper towels today because I'm not sure of the quality of the seed since I waited to collect. I don't want to waste my time starting it in a bunch of soil and having to deal with that. So we're just going to throw a couple here in this paper towel method and put a little bit of water onto the paper towel and then we'll put it in a Ziploc bag and we'll see what we have in a couple of days uh, we'll see if anything's starting, probably about a week, week or two, we'll take a look at it um, I'm gonna put it in a nice warm location with lots of sun so I'll put that by my window in the front room of my house I'm gonna make it and just let it sit there Aww. Um, some of these seeds, as you can see, are actually not good. Whoa! Um, whoa the, I make a tower. Good job. And then the easiest way to know is actually if you're trying to take the coating of the outside off, sometimes the seed will actually crumble while you run it down the edge of the emery board. And then, of course, you know that seed's not going to work. Um, some of them just look bad. So we have... Let me find a bad seed for you. So this seed here, I'm going to take a good one and a bad one. I'm going to try to sit it on this paper towel so you can see better. So as you can see, this seed looks like it's pretty good. This seed is small. Oh, um, and Mom, it has a little bit of mold on it maybe already. Mommy, it's some, breaking! Some yuck on it there. Mommy, it's breaking! It's okay. It's just the wind. Um, so there's some mold there growing on that seed already, so we're not going to want to plant that one. We'll throw it out. This one looks pretty good. It's nice and brown in color and solid. It doesn't have any uh, defects to it. I make a tower. I make a tower, Mommy. So I'll just stratify that up a little bit. Hardy hibiscus are beautiful. They put off humongous flowers, and they bloom a lot. Um, the flowers only last for, I think, a day, maybe two at the most, um, and they fall, you know, they wilt after that, but the flower, the plant produces so many that it's constantly blooming. They come up later in the spring. They like the warm weather, um, so you might not see them. I think I'm in zone six, so you might not see them until May start to come up. Um, but they will come up. Uh, last year I wasn't sure what was going to happen. I thought well, maybe they didn't, you know, they died over the winter, but they definitely came back and were beautiful. And I've planted them around my, the outside of my greenhouse. So uh, my greenhouse here in the summer gets so hot that I, I've tried to put some taller plants around the edges to help shade a little bit in the summer Make it so it doesn't get too terribly hot in here. Okay, so I have enough here started, I think. I'm going to show you one more. Oh, um, you show me? I'll show you, yeah. The easiest way I've found to do this is I actually hook the seed. Well, I dropped that one, but I actually hook the seed underneath of my fingernail. And then I kind of hold it like that. And then as I run it down the emery board, hey, mommy. it stays under my nail. Well, it doesn't want to stay under my nail right now, but it stays under my nail, and I just scrape it two or three times. So I just want to show you the easiest way to go ahead and 
uh, hit these seeds across the emery board since they are so small. You could use a pair of tweezers and hold them with the tweezers, but sometimes I find they tend to fling out. Um, so what I do is I've been holding them underneath my fingernail like this, and then I just kind of run it down there. So, of course, maybe not great for your fingernails, but I'm not sure many gardeners care about their fingernails so much. Um, because we're constantly breaking them. So, now I have everything that I want to start. Um, I'm going to start a bunch more, but I'm not going to scrape them with emery board. I'm going to see if there's a difference in what happens. Um, so now that I have them here, I've, I've shaken them down to the one side of the paper towel, and I'm just going to fold this paper towel over like this. So we have two sides. And here I have my handy dandy Ziploc bag. Um, so I'm going to, as carefully as possible, I will get to the water one minute. As carefully as possible, I'm going to slide this in so that I keep my seeds sort of spaced out in the paper towel. I don't want them all clumped in one area. Um, not that it makes any difference except that if they do decide to germinate, the roots might get tangled and then trying to get them back out to plant, um, you might cause damage to the root. So hopefully they're still, they feel still spread out. I folded my edge down in my paper towel here so that I'm able to shut my bag. And I have some water, it's kind of dirty water. I've just grabbed it out of a pot that was outside was holding some water for me. I'm just going to put some in there and give it a second to absorb and see how much water is. I need water. I need water. I need the water. One minute. You can I have it. I have it. have my any... helper with me today. Yeah. Her name is Ivy. Can you say hello? Hello. Hello. She likes water a lot. I need water So, lot. see if we can get enough in this bag and then you may have the rest of that, madam. What are you doing over there? Doing You're doing a lot of work. That's right. So I'm just going to pick this up. So here you can see they're spread out pretty well. They're a little bunched up in there. Um, I'm hoping this water will go ahead and fill this out since I seem to have lost my water. Um, but we'll leave it sit. I'm going to zip up the bag and keep it in a warm location. Some people like the top of their fridge. It seems to be a warm place. Um, I want some more light on it than I have in my kitchen, so I'm going to just put it on a shelf next to a window, and we'll check it in about two weeks and see what we have started. Mm -hmm.